Welcome back guys to another banger here in Summer's Adventures. I'm actually just grabbing some homework and we're gonna uh, Ouch. We're gonna head to Home Depot because today is a big day. We are getting started on the bird Avery. Um, I did post a video a while ago announcing that I was gonna be doing this along with a pond, but unfortunately I had to delete that video um, from my YouTube channel. So, this is the first time you're hearing of this. Uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, we actually we picked up the lumber last night, so I've gotta put our, these, this seat down. Okay, that goes forward. Okay, we're good. So, I'll give you a little backstory. Um, Earlier in the summer, I got this idea about building a bird aviary, and originally I was planning on making it 16 by 8 by 8, so 16 feet long, um, and then I actually had to pick up 27, 27 8 foot 2 by 4s. Now, and it's half the size of the original, of what I was originally planning, we'll so something. I would have had to purchase 40, no, 50, no. Uh, 54 2 by 4s, 54 2 by 4s. For this thing, but thankfully it was only about 70 bucks for the two by fours that I had to purchase. Um, so we, got, we grabbed those last night. I've got to run to Home Depot again to get some uh, hardware, actually. Uh, latch, hinges, stuff like that. So we'll head out there and see what we can find. <laughs> So, oh man, excuse me. We got all of our lumber here. We have 27 2x4s, 8 foot 2x4s. Um, this is plain old pine. Non, they're not green trees, but you want to make sure you don't get, you do not get green. I can't speak. You want to make sure you don't get green, green treated because that can be bad for the birds. We've got our hinges, 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 a big bad giant box of screws. We gotta go get the uh, other hardware out of the van here. But yeah, let's get all these things laid out and uh, start building. Alright guys, so we've got all the supplies, we've literally got everything. It's a beautiful day out. A little bit later in the day, we're gonna get some homework. Um, but now we're gonna start, we're gonna lay all the boards out. Um, literally what we're doing uh, is we're building, like earlier, Bird Avery, um, but we're doing four identical sides. So it's gonna be a cube, eight feet square. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna build four of them, and then it's gonna be enclosed by mesh, but then one of the panel areas is gonna be a doorway. So I'll show you the design, and uh, what I wanted to was when I was actually planning planning this thing, is I did, there weren't a lot of good videos on YouTube about building bird aviaries. So I hope to change that. If you guys, if one of you guys is building a bird avery, you found this, you found this helpful, and you've got some cool ideas for uh, your avery yourself. So we've got our two by fours, our supplies, hardware over there. We've, I kind of laid out our boards out here, kind of in the shape of what we want, uh, what I wanted. Looks like somebody tripped over them. That's always nice. Uh, but this is what, we, this is what we're kind of going for. This board would be on that end. It's gonna be laying up like this. Four of them screwed together, and then one of these is gonna be the uh, door, obviously. So uh, yeah, let's get these boards over into the driveway, grab our tools, drills, carpenter square, and uh, get into it. Okay, I rounded up a small army of clamps our uh, large carpenter square. Um, these can go here. 
if you don't know what a carpenter square is, you're definitely gonna wanna invest in one. Something about this size is good. Um, what it's gonna help us with is making sure that we're 100% square. So we'll lay it into the bottom board like this. So it's even right there and it's gonna come up and make sure our boards are straight. Um, we've got a box of screws. Um, not sponsored by any of these companies, um, but we like to use a deck mate. Um, really nice screws. Uh, these are uh, one and a half inch, uh, five pounds, one and a half inch screws. Um, they, these are gonna help us connect our two by fours together securely. Uh, they use a star bit, um, but I do believe it comes with one in this box. Uh, I did pick up some other hardware, and I will show that to you here. Never mind, it's inside. Okay, I take that back. I could not find the hardware, but I just literally just bought a handle and then like a latch you would use for a uh, gate, like a fence gate. So we've got to get this thing screwed together here. Um, yeah, let's get started. So we got the middle beam in place here, um, and now we've got to get the door. Uh, the door, um, which is gonna go here. Um, so what we've got to do is we've actually got to put another board across about here, uh, just because I don't want the door to be eight feet tall, kind of excessive. Um, and then the door will then be in that space, and that space right there will be filled up with. Uh, what do you call it? Hardware cloth. So we've got to get the door now. Um, so we might get the door now or build the other wall. I'm not exactly sure. Let's we'll see. All right, guys. So it's guys. What am I now? From, from the UK. All right, guys. So it's been about a month since you saw me building these frames. And as you can see, take a look here. Um, they're different colors, so I put a primer down. A primer is definitely something you're going to want to do. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's going to make your Avery last a lot longer. And then you can paint it whatever color you want. I painted it the same color as our house, so it kind of matches. Um, did I stick around for part two because we're going to put the hardware cloth on here and then screwing it together getting the door on. That'll be part two, and part three will actually be getting the birds and all the stuff to go inside. So I'm going to hopefully be uploading now every Saturday. I'm going to try. It doesn't happen every single Saturday. Cut me some slack. Um, but I'm going to try keep, I'm going to try get a little more regular. My uploads have been really sporadic and I really want to get, grow my subscriber count. So please hit that red button down below and subscribe to my channel. It'd be really helpful and you can be a 20th subscriber because at the moment I'm at 19. So if you want to do that, that'd be awesome. Hit the like button too. That'd be super helpful. And I love hearing from people what they thought of the video. Drop a comment down below if you want to. And if you built this, actually, uh, tell me, please. I would love to hear if someone actually followed what I've done here and or maybe got a cool idea or maybe even just, like, took inspiration from it. So, yeah, I'm Samuel, and you're watching some... <laughs>